Hi guys. So uh, just a few updates on the activity watch for you. Um, I put it on on the evening of 13th of June at 7pm and I'm due to take it off the morning of the 22nd of June so I would have worn it for 10 days. Um, I wear it 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Um, you can take it off but to get an accurate reading it's better to have it on um, 24 hours a day. It's waterproof so you can have a shower and you can go swimming, you can have a bath, it's waterproof up to 10 meters. Um, so it looks like this, nothing um, nothing overly special to look at, nothing on the screen. It's got some little buttons on the side but you don't have to do anything, it comes fully programmed and to fasten it is just a simple watch fastening. So you want to have it flush to your skin, you don't want it too loose so that it spins around but equally you don't want it to be too tight so that it's cutting off circulation. Um, it's comfortable, it doesn't bother me, um, I do find myself checking the time with it uh, but my watch, my actual watch is on my other hand at the moment so um, as I said last time uh, you wear it on your non-dominant hand so I'm right-handed uh, so I'm wearing the watch on my left hand. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to pick up um, more activity than it did last year uh, so increased light activity and moderate activity. Um, I mentioned before that it won't pick up any vigorous activity because I don't do any um, but light activity as just walking around your house, um, walking to the kitchen, walking to the bathroom, walking around your garden, um, it just just gentle movement, nothing too tasking. Um, moderate activity again, like I mentioned before, is just going up and down the stairs. So I try not to bring laundry down with me in the morning or anything that I think I may need in the day. I try to leave it upstairs so that I have to go upstairs to get it. Um, I've been trying to do that, not just since having the activity watch, but I've been trying to implement that into um, bigger life changes um, since last year. Um, so I'm hoping there will be an increase in my activity and a decrease in my sedentary levels. Um, I'm more aware this week of not being too sedentary so when I'm watching TV or when I'm resting or on the sofa sitting down that I'm not sitting down for too long um, so my consultant suggested every 30 minutes or so getting up and having a, a walk around the house or just going to get a drink and come back so I, I'm, I'm really trying to implement that as well um, and yeah, so I would say I'm hoping that it'll show every maybe 20, 30 minutes, but I could be completely wrong with that time frame. But I feel like I'm not sitting for hours on end before moving. Um, you know, just an excuse to go and get a drink is, is, is good because you're getting up. Um, and the sleep-wake diary, um, I've been filling that in this week as well. Um, it's just simple columns. You have um, the day that you're on, so day one, two, three or four in your 10 day or seven day um, time of wearing the watch. You put your date and then you put the time that you wake and the time that you go to bed. So it's very simple. It's, you know, it's, it doesn't need any instructions. It's all written down for you. Um, you just need to remember what time you went to bed and what time you get up in the morning. Uh, I've noticed this week, um, I was going to bed quite early um, a few weeks ago um, and some nights struggling to get to sleep but some nights going straight to sleep. Um, I never feel that I have a good quality of sleep even though I may be in bed for quite some time. Um, this week I've been going to bed quite late, so I've been waking up a little later in the morning. But the exhaustion, no matter what time I go to bed, no matter what time I get up, no matter how many hours sleep, I think I've had the exhaustion is the same. Um, so 
severe fatigue as a symptom of mitochondrial disease is, it can be debilitating. Um, I think, I try to think that if I don't go to sleep in the daytime, then I'll sleep better at night time. But the truth is, when my body is screaming at me to close my eyes and just have a rest, it doesn't make any difference. If, if I do fall asleep on the sofa for an hour or so in the daytime, not every day, I try and stay awake as much as I can, but if I do fall asleep, it doesn't make me any less exhausted or any less tired, but I know that I can't always fight it. Um, so um, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to have a discussion to see if the watch is picking up the kind of quality of sleep that I'm having, um, or if it's just picking up X amount of hours that I'm actually in bed. Um, also, I'm going to try and go swimming uh, on Thursday. It's Tuesday today, it's Tuesday night. So I'm gonna go uh, swimming on Thursday afternoon, hopefully. Um, I love swimming, absolutely love swimming, I always have. Um, but whereas years ago I could do maybe 50 lengths and not be tired, not be breathless, not feel like I've done any exercise. Um, now I can only do about one length and that does come with breathlessness and extreme exhaustion and muscle aches and pains. Um, but you know, at least I'm trying. Uh, I know that it's good for my muscles. Um, being in the pool is, it's not as harsh as maybe if, I don't know, some people might want to go to the gym, um, or they might enjoy dancing, or they might enjoy running. Um, it's not as harsh as any of that on your joints, um, but it is resistance training, strength training, I think, they're the terminologies. Um, so even if you're just walking against the water, um, just doing a couple of widths but walking, that water is pushing against your legs and your arms and your body. So you are working your muscles. Um, I'm going to try and swim lengths though, as best I can for as long as I can. Um, again, not only because I know that it's good for my muscles, but because it's part of a bigger life change that I've been trying to implement this past year. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to give you some updates on that and uh, let you know how that goes. Um, yeah, but that's everything for now. So wish me luck for swimming on Thursday and I will speak to you then. Bye.